Hi there, welcome back. In this episode we recognize that your code must be getting quite long by now. We look at ways to manage workflow, and how to use modules to structure your code into useful chunks. We will do this by looking at good technique, and useful tools within Python. We have already spoken about comments in a previous video, but now is a chance to go back through your code and add useful notes. To write on one line simply add a hashtag, or to blank out whole sections you can use three, speech marks at the front, and back of the section you wish to ignore. Before you do that, let's look at the code and see if we can simplify it. You have now become familiar with using libraries and importing them into your code. We think of modules as libraries, as they work in a very similar way. We take a section of our code out of the main program, and store it in another file with a dot, pi extension. Let's explore this with a simple program. Let's start a new file, and call it, hello.py. Let's add a very simple piece of code. I will create a function called greeting, and in the brackets, I will put the word, name. Then we will simply print, name, to the screen. Save this file. Now start a new file and call it, mainprogram.py. We can now call the, hello, module by importing it, into our new piece of code. Once you have imported it, you can now call on that code to fulfill a task in this file. So for example, we could call our function hello, dot, greeting, and add a name in brackets, and speech marks. So you see we have effectively called a function from another file. And this main program, has that functionality, without having to have all the functions in the same piece of code. In Jarvis this is very handy, as you can have a file for your Excel prompts, and you can have a file for all your graphics. You can have a module that starts an intro sequence that is 10,000 lines of code, but in your main program you would simply call it in one line. You can even simplify this further by importing the module, as, another name. So you could call the hello module, like this. You can also import variables from a module by using the, from, keyword. So if I had a variable called family member which was equal to Miss Potts, then I could use the command, from hello import family member. Be careful that your modules are stored in the same location, so the main program can find them. So now you know this, you can go through your code cutting large sections of text, and pasting them into modules. You can then just call on that module in one or two lines instead. This makes your main program easier to follow, more manageable, and easier to update. Remember to keep the code structure, add lots of comments and keep your code neat and tidy throughout. I promise you will thank me for this, when your Jarvis is 3 or 4 years old, and you are doing updates. That's it for this one, have a great day. Goodbye.